Alright then, um, so this is a completely anonymous pair of feet that's very kindly volunteered um, along with the rest of the person to, uh, to help with this. Um, this is a guy called Michael that works here. Um, what we've got is a fairly loose quality of movement in the subtalar joint. It's a floppy foot. Um, and a calcaneo cuboid joint that has got a pretty substantial amount of range of movement with the foot held roughly in neutral. And when we pronate the foot, humongous range, well, range of movement there. A um, the first net with a fairly impressive range of movement as well. Um, and across the midfoot, a certain amount. First met, dorsiflexes, but perhaps not quite so much as we would like. And you can see there's a certain amount of windless there, a certain amount of plant flexion of the first met, but again, maybe not as much as we'd like. Callus pattern, very little or no callus on the first MPJ, plenty on 2, 3, a little bit on 5, uh, which again suggests that maybe the first met is not being plant flexed as well as it might. Um, classical non-weight bearing casting, obviously we might have the patient the other way up if we wanted, um, but what we'd be doing is trying to control the rear foot thus and dorsiflexing the lateral column and uh, to try and plant flex the first. What we're going to try and do is pretty much the same effect um, but in foam. Sit the chair up in the air a little bit. Uh, can you shuffle forward for me so that your legs just dangling, dangling off the edge a little bit further? So in terms of position, you might want to come in a little bit closer for this. What we want is um, three point pressure. And if you've got three points on the foot, you can move it in lots of different directions. If you've only got two, you're much more limited. So with the left foot, I would put my thumb under the sort of medial navicular area. Um, my fingers around the outside of the heel and my third point All right, so picking up where we left off thumb under the navicular, fingers under the lateral heel heel of the hand under the front from there I can invert either the rear foot flex plant, flex the foot and to a degree invert and invert the forefoot what I don't have is the ability to dorsiflex under the forefoot but hopefully we'll get a little bit of that from the actual foam so just pop the chair down a little until the feet land so position wise um, quite important something a lot of people get wrong from the off you have to be able to have the foot with the leg at 90 degrees in that plane 90 degrees in that plane so that your leg is going directly down for our base plane, the ground, to be okay. And we have to be able to actually have the foot on the ground. If you've got the foot hanging in the air like that and you're trying to push it down into a foam box, it's not gonna work terribly well. So what I would do for this, let's say I wanna plant flex the first ray um, and dorsal flex the lateral column as much as I can. I'll slide it up on top, get my three point position. Feel for my subterranean neutral, which is about there. I'm going to put the heel of my hand more under the, the medial forefoot, thumb in the tail of there, and my other fingers that you can't see are on the lateral part of the heel, hand on the knee, shoulder on the hand, and nice and slowly push that down. And my hand, the lateral column. I've used a shallow casting box here so you can just see the height of the arch a little bit more easily. We've actually managed to maintain a very decent arch and a good angle of plant deflection there. Um, height wise, I think we're looking at about that. I can measure that uh, so sort of just above the first knuckle of my finger. And in fact, measure that much the same. Um, so we have got a nicely plant flex first ray. The fifth, um, the lateral column, the fifth net, uh, is not quite um, dorsal flexed as much as I'd like. There is a tiny bit of lateral arch there. That's the easiest thing in the world to get rid of. It really isn't very much. So that gives us our fifth net 
flat on the floor like that. I first met nicely palms flexed and our heel down in the ground. Thank you very much.